If you're a fighting game player, you might have heard the term kusoge thrown around every now and then. The term usually refers to a fighting game that is low quality, incomplete, or completely broken, in the best way possible. After all, not every fighting game has to be good to be played competitively. Very nice, very nice. My god, it's a sidewalk slam! Sometimes, games with infinites, overpowered characters, and ridiculous combos can have just enough charm to connect with a fan base and propel a game to unexpected popularity. Today, we'll be looking at a kusoge that is one of the most popular in the FGC, and how a game based on a post-apocalyptic manga became everyone's favorite basketball fighting game. This is Hokuto no Ken, aka Fist of the North Star. Hokuto no Ken. Hokuto no Ken is an anime fighter developed by Arc System Works, the company behind games like Guilty Gear and Dragon Ball Fighters. The game was originally released in Japan on December 7th, 2005 as an arcade cabinet and released in America shortly after. Two years later, on March 29th, 2007, the game received a Japan exclusive PlayStation 2 port. Hokuto no Ken. The game is based on a manga series of the same name and uses material from the first half of the manga. The game features 10 playable characters, 8 of whom are voiced by the original voice actors from the manga's anime adaptation. Overall, fans of the series praise the game for its attention to source detail and amazing music. Apart from the usual fast-paced gameplay often associated with Arc System Works, Hokuto no Ken features three resource meters. There's the Aura Meter, which acts as a standard super meter, Boost, which allows players to cancel moves after hits, and the seven stars of the Hokuto, a feature unique to Hokuto no Ken, where every player has a gauge under the life bar with seven stars in the shape of the Big Dipper. During a fight, certain attacks will remove stars from their opponent's gauge. Once all stars are gone, a player becomes susceptible to a fatal KO, which will instantly kill them. While there are many one-hit kill mechanics in other fighting games, Hokuto no Ken's fatal KOs are very easy to hit, as many of them can be comboed into. As a result, Fatal KOs aren't just a novelty or something used to style on opponents, but rather a fundamental part of the metagame. <laughs> so the game is fun and pretty unique, but competitive fighting game players look for other things as well. Despite praise for the game from core fans of the manga and anime, the rest of the FGC criticized the game for its competitive shortcomings, with the character Toki being by far the strongest in the game with no unfavorable matchups. And while tournaments do have fairly diverse character selections, Hokuto no Ken is widely regarded as a kusoge within the community. So let's take a moment to narrow down exactly what a kusoge is. In Japanese, the term literally translates to sh game. Frequently used in the Japanese video game magazine Famitsu since 2002, the term was originally associated with games of mediocre quality, but the word has since evolved into a more endearing term within the FGC. While it usually refers to games that are incredibly broken, kusoge games are typically still very fun to play, despite being poorly balanced. As a result, many kusoges have small dedicated communities like Sailor Moon S, another kusoge that we've talked about on this channel before. Although there is no set criteria for what defines a kusoge, one popular litmus test is whether you can dribble your opponent like a basketball for literally an entire round. If you can, it's probably a kusoge. Which brings us back to the game at hand. Hokuto no Ken has a lot of infinites and quote unquote dribble combos, so I think it's safe to say that this is a kusoge. In tournaments, Players tend to have a little bit of fun when they're being dribbled into oblivion by taking selfies while the other player is bouncing them to trying to bribe their opponent with money to stop the combo. These sorts of dribble combo moments are some of the clips that have inspired people to start playing the game in the first place. While the game's presence outside of Japan and EVO is very, very small, 
The game is becoming more accessible through the Fightcade emulator, which allows the game to be netplayed online. For the core of the game's community in Japan, the annual capstone event for the game is the Sekimatsu Budokai, a 3 on 3 team tournament similar to the Cooperation Cup for Street Fighter Third Strike. Teams of three play against each other, and whenever a player loses, he taps in for another of his teammates. Once all three players on a team are defeated, the other team wins. Pretty simple. And while the format may not be a straight up 1v1 like other tournaments, Sekimatsu is full of insane moments and showcases the passion of the community. Unfortunately, like many other fighting games, the COVID-19 pandemic has slowed things down considerably, and the Sekimatsu Budokai tournament unfortunately did not take place in 2021. But as things slowly improve and open up, hopefully we'll see a return of the tournament, and maybe Hokuto no Ken being featured at major fighting game events around the world. Hopefully soon, more people will be able to witness the insane matches that this Kusoge can produce, and try to bounce players around for themselves. This video is made possible thanks to our wonderful patrons. Massive thank you to everyone on this list, and shout out to Jason, B, Brendan, QB, Foxy, Mauve, Pachanas, Sierra, Shampoo, Spartacus, and Yashichi for being Platinum supporters. And an extra special shout out to Steven, Noodles, and Marco for being Diamond supporters. Thanks for sticking with us. Check us out on Instagram, link in the description. If you want to support our channel and get info on unreleased videos, check out our Patreon. If you want to help us out in a different way, leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell to stay up to date is also appreciated. My name is Jonah, thanks for watching.